starting to ease away now. Still a few heavy showers around Melbourne, perhaps Hobart on Wednesday as well. High pressure keeping things mostly dry for New Zealand, but more rain working in from the west later in the week. Bye-bye. This programme asks plain questions with the help of the unrivalled range of BBC journalists right across the world and gathered here in this building. I'll also draw on my time reporting on global conflict, frontline experience that helps me know who to talk to and who to listen to, meaning our analysis is unbiased with absolutely no spin. Unspun World on BBC World News. This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller. On today's Global, Rishi Sunak becomes the UK's Prime Minister, warning the country is facing a profound economic crisis and promises to fix it. Some mistakes were made. Not born of ill will or bad intentions. Quite the opposite, in fact. But mistakes nonetheless. The new Prime Minister meets the new King and promises to restore trust and economic stability after months of political chaos. I know the high office I have accepted and I hope to live up to its demands. But when the opportunity to serve comes along, you cannot question the moment, only your willingness. Rishi Sunak's reshuffle is ongoing, will be live in Downing Street, also on today's programme. Civilians continue to leave the occupied Ukrainian city of Kherson. Russia continues to claim a so-called dirty bomb might be used. And the first picked 50 people are thought to have died. Welcome to BBC News, Rishi Sunak. Welcome to BBC News, Rishi Sunak has become the UK's third Prime Minister in seven weeks, saying he will unite the country, not with words, but with action. He was speaking outside 10 Downing Street, where he talked openly about the mistakes of his predecessor and the scale of the economic task. Let's go to Sean Lay. Welcome to viewers around the world and in the UK. It's four o'clock in London, which is 11 a.m. in Washington, D.C. A reminder that all around the world in the different time zones, many eyes are focused on the black door behind me of number 10 Downing Street. Inside, Rishi Sunak, the man whose political career was written off just eight weeks ago after he lost the Conservative leadership contest to Liz Truss, now succeeds Liz Truss as Prime You're Minister. Job, Mr. Zahawi. Naveen Zahawi is the latest to arrive in the cabinet, a sign of perhaps a significant promotion for Mr Zahawi. He was briefly, and I say only briefly, Boris Johnson at the very fag end of the Conservative government of Mr Johnson back in the summer, and then a day later became one of those urging the Prime Minister to quit. He subsequently held a middle-ranking job in the Cabinet, but he will now be moving from his current post, we expect, of a Cabinet Office Minister and Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, as it's called, one of those strange historic titles that the British system still has. There is a Duchy of Lancaster, it does provide income to the Treasury, and it is managed by its Chancellor. But really, the day-to-day -day job as Minister of the Cabinet Office is a sort of fixer inside Downing Street. Well, a little earlier, late morning in fact, the Prime Minister gave his speech to the nation before making his way inside number 10 for the first time as Prime Minister. In that speech, he promised to unite the country, not with words, but with actions. He is the third leader in seven weeks. But Mr uh, Sunak says he will be around long enough to fix the mistakes made by his immediate predecessor, Liz Truss. Behind that famous door, the work of government begins. Initially, the forming of his cabinet. Earlier, late morning to lunchtime and early afternoon, he was a short distance from here, in his office at the House of Commons. The advantage of being there 
is that you can't see who comes and goes. They're all MPs or members of the House of Lords. They can all walk into that office. They don't have to walk past any cameras. The office, which is behind the Speaker's chair, anyone who watches Prime Minister's questions will know where that is situated in the House of Commons, at the head of the chamber, between the government benches to the Speaker's uh, right and the opposition benches to the Speaker's left. Uh, behind the Speaker's chair, there's a short corridor which leads to the office of the Prime Minister and of other ministers. And it's there they would be meeting colleagues who we either wanted to say, it's time to go, or who wanted to say to him, it's time I went, or in some cases, we're offered new jobs and turn them down. Right, right, let's talk now to our chief political correspondent, Nick Early. Nadim Zahawi appears. Now, he's a political survivor, and no mistake. Yeah, look, let's see what job he ends up in. Um, I mean, what we have so far is politicians from different parts of the Conservative Party in there. We have Dominic Raab, 